Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Morris County. Today I'm going to be saving you time and miles in your car because I'm taking you through five different neighborhoods in Mount Olive, New Jersey. Stay tuned to the end to see which one is going to be the best fit for you. Let's go! My name is Kevin Somp and each week I bring you videos about moving to or around Morris County and the surrounding areas. So if that's why you came here today, make sure you give this video a like, hit that notification bell, and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the content that I'm dropping each and every week. I'm also a licensed real estate agent in the state of Jersey and I help people like you move to and around Morris County and the surrounding areas every single day. So that number is popping up below, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email and I cannot wait to help you find your dream home. To kick today's video off, I want to start in the southern portion of Mount Olive Township in the Flanders section of town. Specifically, I'm talking about the Clover Hill neighborhood. And I would argue that the Clover Hill neighborhood is the most convenient neighborhood in all of Mount Olive. And that's because it has a short walk or a short drive to the Weiss grocery store, the ShopRite grocery store, which has an attached Gold's Gym to it. There's a bunch of other stores like Tractor Supply all in this area. And it's just a really short walk or drive to get to these shops. It also has Route 206 that runs along the neighborhood. So you have only about a five minute drive to downtown Chester, or if you wanna take it north, it'll bring you to the International Trade Center Shopping Center, or Route 80. If you're a golfer, this is also a great neighborhood because you're within minutes of the Flanders Valley Golf Course, which Morris County residents do get a discount at that course, and the Golf Zone, uh, which is a driving range that's also nearby. So you can practice your game, and then you can you know, see how your practice is gonna turn into the results on the course, all within minutes, save a lot of time and effort. You're already playing four hours for a round, so save yourself some, some driving distance by being located very close by. There's also the Powerline Park baseball fields within this neighborhood, so if you have any baseball players in your family, you might save yourself some time in traveling to their games. All the schools in the neighborhoods that I'm talking about today, all the kids go to Mount Olive High School and Mount Olive Middle School. The elementary schools do differ. In this neighborhood, it's actually with, embedded within the neighborhood, and that's Mountain View Elementary School, and that's an A-rated school according to niche.com. Definitely walkable for the majority of the houses in this neighborhood. Homes in this neighborhood were built in the 1970s. There's a lot of split levels, colonials, and a few other styles scattered throughout. You're looking at a square footage range of about 1,800 to 2,000 square feet, and all sit on about a quarter of an acre. Not a ton of privacy in this neighborhood. The price range at the time of making this video is about $400,000 to $500,000. <laughs> Just a short jog away from the Clover Hill neighborhood is Flanders Crossing. Now you're close to all the same things that you were in the Clover Hill neighborhood when it comes to the shopping and the restaurants. You're just a little bit closer to that Flanders Valley golf course and you're also directly across the street from Flanders Park, which has baseball fields, a soccer field, a walking path, playground, and basketball courts. The elementary school is still gonna be that A-rated Mountain View Elementary School. Just might not be quite walkable. You could definitely walk there, but on a busy school day when you're trying to get the kids ready for school, it might be a little much. You might as well just drive them a couple minutes over there. Homes in this neighborhood were built in 1996. There are colonials that are about 2,400 square feet, sit on about a quarter of an acre, but they are newer homes and larger homes than the Clover Hill neighborhood. So if you do need a little bit more size, this neighborhood might be a better fit for you. The most recent sale in this neighborhood went for $650,000, and that was about 106% of asking price, which is typical for the market that we're currently in. <laughs> Okay. 
Highlander section of Mount Olive, just going a little bit further north, we're going to the Bennington Woods neighborhood. And this neighborhood actually reminds me a lot of another neighborhood in Long Valley called Nestling Woods. And although they do share the same name with the woods, they are both appropriately named because they are heavily wooded neighborhoods, a lot more privacy than the other two that I've spoken about in this video, but that does come at a cost. That cost being it's not quite as convenient as those other neighborhoods uh, in the Flanders section in that it's about five minute drive to the Flanders shop, right? And it's about a 10 minute drive to the International Trade Center shopping centers and uh, stores. There's also septic in this neighborhood because it is a little bit further set back. Directly across the street is a farm. So again, you got woods, a farm, it's more of that kind of country life feel. So if that's something that you're interested in, this is definitely a neighborhood you do not want to miss. The elementary school is the Tints Road Elementary School, a rated school according to niche.com. My stepmom has worked here for a big portion of her teaching career and it's a, a great school. The homes in the neighborhood were built in the 1980s. They're all colonials that are about 2,000 to 4,000 square feet and sit on about an acre or more in some cases. Price range at the time making this video is about 600 to $800,000. to the Bud Lake section of Mount Olive in the Pershing Estates neighborhood. Now, I spent a lot of time in this neighborhood because my aunt and uncle have lived here since I was born. And one of the cool features of it is that it truly is centrally located within the heart of Mount Olive. You are a little bit further away from that Flanders shop, right? but you're closer to the International Trade Center. So it's about an eight minute ride to that shop, right? And about a six minute drive to the International Trade Center with the Walmart and the uh, Lowe's and a bunch of other stores. You're also really close to Route 46, which gets you to a lot of other shopping centers, restaurants, and you can hop right on Route 80 to get you know anywhere where you really need to go in North Jersey. My favorite thing that's close by to this neighborhood you know it, it's that Turkey Brook Park, which I would argue is the nicest park in all of Morris County. You're also really close to Bud Lake itself, so if you do like fishing, boating, kayaking, uh, you do have a pretty convenient option uh, in with that as well. The elementary school associated with this neighborhood is the Chester M. Stevens Elementary School. It's an A- rated school according to niche.com, and this is pretty much embedded within this neighborhood as well. Homes in this neighborhood were built in the 1970s and consist of bi-levels, colonials, and ranches kind of scattered throughout. You're looking at about 2,000 square feet and then sitting on about a third of an acre. Not as much privacy as that Bennington Woods neighborhood, but more similar to the Clover Park neighborhood, I would say. And the price range in this neighborhood at the time of making this video is about 500 to $600,000. <laughs> today's video, we're staying in the Bud Lake section of Mount Olive and specifically in that northern part of Mount Olive Township with Green Tree. Now Green Tree is super close to Bud Lake itself. It is a very hilly neighborhood, but some of these houses are sitting up on those hills and do have winter lake views of Bud Lake when the tree coverage isn't quite as full. You're also really close to Route 46 and Route 80. So although you are a little bit further set back in this neighborhood, you do have some convenient commuting options nearby. You're looking at about a 15 minute drive to downtown Chester. So you are pretty much as far away as you can be in Mount Olive from Chester. It's 12 minutes to that Flanner shop right, also 12 minutes to the shop right in Haggistown. So getting your groceries might be a little bit further drive here. And you're also 10 minutes away from the International Trade Center. 
So I would argue that this is maybe the least convenient neighborhood in Mount Olive uh, in comparison to the others I've spoken about today, just in terms of proximity to you know major shops, restaurants, groceries, uh, stuff like that. The elementary school associated with this neighborhood is Sandshore Elementary. It's an A minus rated school according to niche.com. Homes in this neighborhood were built in the 1990s. They're all colonials that are about 2,000 and 3,000 square feet and sit on anywhere between a half to an acre of land. And the most recently sold homes in this neighborhood uh, were about 700,000 dollars at the time of making this video. see there's a wide variety of homes to choose from in Mount Olive Township and if you are looking for that home I just want to remind you I am a licensed real estate agent in the state of New Jersey and I love making these videos but nothing gets me more fired up than closing deals for my clients on their dream homes so that number is popping up below if you to give me a call shoot me a text or send me an email and I cannot wait to help you find your dream home till next time guys I'll see you next week